Hey there friends, so I was recently thinking about The Simpsons Hit and Run, an iconic PS2 game from my childhood. I'm pretty sure that's where I learned to swear. Not from the game, and just from the sheer anger it put me through. Let's go back and take a look and see if it still holds up. And here we are, and of course we must do what everyone does first, kick Marge for no reason whatsoever. This is the most cursed screenshot ever. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about how I got here. Okay, I think I've reset. First mission, just go to the quickie mat. This one's an easy one. Oh my god, Nelson is also cursed. I'm starting to think this whole game will be a lot more cursed than I remember. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's nimble now. So long, suckers! That poor family, they're gonna have to get the roof changed. Remain calm. <laughs> For no reason, right in front of his child. Why is Mr. Burns hanging out here? Oh, just moving his poison around. Okay, fair enough. Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Of course she does. Go outside, the hardest mission of all. I've yet to accomplish it. Okay, and I think, yeah, I've got to go out and find Flanders stuff. I parked in the most awkward spot imaginable, and I have killed a child. Possibly two. Oh my god, the cops really want to kill me. Well, they want to arrest me at least. I automatically go to my frame of thinking, I suppose. Oh, that was insurance fraud. Who the hell is this? What is going on? All right, you know what? Let's just chat. Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? All right, there we go. We got Flanders. Cooler back. I was right, by the way. They didn't try and arrest me. They just straight up knocked me down. No, 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 no. Don't get back in. All right, you know what? I have loads of time anyway. What? Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, that guy's no face. Oh wait, no, he's got an eye. I think he might be a fish disguised as a human. Just in case, I'm going to knock down all of these, in quote, humans. And I just killed an entire school bus worth of kids. So far, I've just been doing, like, little chores and odd jobs, and I have murdered about 12 people. I like how he looks over the back, and yet I still nail his mailbox. <laughs> then do a perfect drift into my house. Homie, you're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah! He'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny! Oh, I keep getting this mission to go outside. <laughs> it's so tough. And I feel like it's talking to me, you know, IRL, and I don't want to listen. Wait, if I'm meant to be at work, shouldn't Lenny be at work too? Oh, God. Sorry, Lenny. Hey, Homer, how about a breakfast churro? No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm going to need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm going to take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. Okay, I got to buy the Plow King to attempt to murder my boss. Barney, can I borrow the Plow King? Take what you want, sexy leprechaun. Just don't shoot me with that dark gun! Does everyone get that dialogue, or is it just because I'm Irish? Anyway, I've been collecting coins along the way because I knew that this game has this requirement that randomly you just gotta buy random stuff to delay you from completing the game. I would have been to work by now, but no, I'm going after my boss to murder him. Plus, while I'm at it, I'm doing a different episode of The Simpsons and salting the earth of my neighbor's lawn so nothing will grow ever again. Woohoo! All right! Why are you cheering? Nothing about this is good. I'm on that person's roof again. All right, kill my boss. Kill my boss. I don't think I can even be held liable here. He keeps ramming me. It's not my fault if he kills himself doing this. Like, I'm just here plowing. If you happen to get in my way, that's not my fault. Good thing this isn't timed because he's taking a while to kill himself. And one more should do it. Oh, wait, he's pushing me out of the way. Wait, I'll pull up over here. There we go. He did it. And then I squished him. Oh my god, I didn't realize the horn was so beefy on this thing. Now if I kill a child, it's not really my fault, because I beeped the horn. See? Not my fault. Another school bus down, but again I beeped. Not my fault. I have no insurance! Oh, that guy just stole my coins! Sure, I rammed him into him, but it's still his fault. Oh, I think I got them back. I think he died off screen and I inherited them. There we go. That should be safe there. You know, these guys sort of look like the ones working for the fairy godmother in Shrek 2. Oh, I sent him to the void. All right, run! Okay, now that I've arrived at work, I'm going to start destroying equipment. It's my self-imposed mission. It's also timed for some reason. Oh, no! No, I can't remember how to jump! I remembered. There's one left. Where the... It's up there. Of course it's up there. Can I get across? Okay, it's not too bad. Why the hell would they put them up here anyway? Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. He doesn't seem that bothered that Smithers was murdered this morning. 
Where did I park my car? Oh yeah, just like in the power plant. <laughs> Continuously salting the place. Anyway, back to assaulting people instead. I never realized how terrifying Homer is in this thing if you start backing up. Look at this, it's like he's the head of an owl. It just spins 180 and he's looking right at us. Sure. I am evil Homer. I am evil okay, Homer. don't do that. That's not gonna hold up well in court for going knocking over a child in your snowplow, screaming, I am evil Homer. No! <laughs> he tried to avoid me. He was like, oh no, it's this dude again. Can I do a race in the snowplow? One second, I'm knocking over Millhouse instead of talking with him. Millhouse, you little wiener, what are you doing here? Patty and Selma won't give me a license to ride a bike without safety wheels. Unless I run the driving tests. Oh, they do allow me. Why am I drifting backwards? All right, I'm going to knock down Patty and Selma because I think it's them making me do this. I actually have no idea what doing the races gives you. I think I was too annoyed by them when I was young. I may have chosen the actual worst vehicle I could possibly choose for doing this. It's pretty damn awful. It's slow. It can't handle these bumps. It can't go around corners. But it can knock down Patty and Selma real good. Oh, no. Am I going to make it too? Oh, my God. I just made it. One of three races completed. Well, I'm just gonna assume that I would be able to complete the rest because I don't want to do anymore. I'm gonna take a ride with this nice man instead. Another thing I love about this game. I'm guessing in order to keep the age rating, you don't actually carjack people. I'm just ride sharing right now before it was a thing. You haven't seen the last of me. And they also get homicidal tendencies when I'm in the vehicle. All right, you wait out here. I'll explain to Marriage how you're living with us now. Honestly, it wouldn't even be out of character. Oh, I'm two-dimensional again. In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Oh, and there is one of them. The first conspiracy theorist, Homer Simpson. You're so sexy when you're paranoid. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird thing to encourage. The tinfoil hat stays on in the bedroom. Come on, dude. You're a main character in the Simpsons franchise now. I can't wait to buy all of your merchandise. Unnamed van driver. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this. Like, if I'm supposed to be following him, attacking him, collecting stuff. Oh. My friend got busted. Wait, why would it spawn me in the wrong way? Why would it do this to me? Me and my friend here have been nothing but angels. We don't deserve this. Also, I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. What? What did I hit? All right, he, he's dead. <laughs> so much for his merchandise. I can't wait to buy the model of his burning car. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. God damn it. Dead clown. What did you call me? <laughs> I mean, it's accurate, but you shouldn't say it. Okay, Burning Wreckage Man is back in action. He's probably like, um, what? What did you say? Sorry? I just gotta remember. Keep an eye out for entirely imaginary walls. <laughs> God, the engine does not sound healthy. It might go up in flames without hitting anything. Oh, I'm at work, so the cops can no longer legally arrest me. Well, I just got absolutely destroyed. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, the prophecy. It is being fulfilled. No, he died. No, I can't get any other vehicles here. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this video game sucks. Hey, don't say it. This is a treasured childhood memory. Okay, this time I'm going to spare your life because trust me, if you come with me, you are going to be a charred corpse. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. Yeah, give the car a back rub. Wait, I didn't fail? Oh, the bar is completely empty. Okay, there's a little bit of green. I'll take it. As long as it's in my favor, being unfair is fair. You think you've lost me, do you? <laughs> Just an absolute lunatic flying through a pane of glass. He has killed so many people. Like I have too, but I'm just saying maybe we've more in common than I first thought we did. Yeah, he, he's a bad driver and everything. We're basically twins. I think he's driving slow because we're so far apart, but I'm actually ahead of him. So if he could speed up, that would be great. Yeah, you see, now that he's realized I'm in front, now he wants to go fast. He always just goes smack into those walls. Ooh, what's up there? <laughs> that looks kind of... Oh my God, he's hit by me. Why am I so easily distractible? <laughs> this is the worst car chase ever. Can I beat him here? Will it complete? You can see him approaching slowly in the distance. Come on. Come on. I know where you're going. There's only one evil guy in town. There we go. Mission complete. Now that I've uncovered the greatest scandal to ever hit Springfield, I'm going to steal this rocket car and go get groceries. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to last long in this thing. Like I was destroying that poor innocent man's van. How do I expect to use this thing? <gasps> there is another race, though. All right, give me a go. <laughs> I don't think I'd even fit in this thing. Maybe if I was entirely horizontal. Hey, Bert, it's me in a rocket car. Uh, winning a race and ruining my child's day. It's good being a parent. Uh-oh. Um, 
I don't know about that chant though, Homer. Maybe we should cool off a bit. The car is not looking or sounding good. Oh no. No, it's on fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I complete it on foot? <laughs> Could I perhaps carjack the other drivers? Oh. No, I don't want to do it again. Carjacking a school bus and getting out of here. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to good people? This is another one of those things that I don't want to talk about. You don't need to know how I got here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Marge. I'll get you next time. Can I go away from the vehicle so that I don't get back in by accident? Is this what you called me here? Just to play in traffic? <laughs> Come on, Marge. Grow up. A new violent video game has hit the streets. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. And therefore should be destroyed. I guess. Okay, let's destroy video games for marriage. I don't know if I'm supposed to like smash the bejesus out of his van or just follow, but I usually default to smashing the bejesus out of things if I don't know what to do. Oh my god, he's just stuck going in a circle, this poor old man, probably doing a part-time job. There we go. I ruined the lives of all the children and the elderly. I am excellent. Oh, are you? <laughs> Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boss. Why are you mad about that? Your thing was worse. <laughs> Damn you, marriage. You're a bad influence on homie. That's my best marriage impression. Oh my god, this is the last mission? The Fat and the Furious? I hope we run into Vin Diesel. I just remember this part being harder, although I am making it look much harder than it actually is by smashing into every single man, woman, child, wall, or obstacle. Oh my god, Carl's eyes are terrifying. They're just bulging out of their sockets. Good thing I'm drunk. Ah, oh, that explains the eyes, right? Wait, we gotta race Smithers back to Mr. Burns' mansion? But I thought we already killed Smithers. There he goes. How did you get your car fixed? All right, judging how things have been going, I should be easily able to beat this guy in a race, even if I'm smashing into everything. Look at this commitment. I'll do anything to save the town. I don't think me or Homer fully understand what's even happening. Is now a good time to mention I don't actually know where Mr. Burns lives? Is it up on this person's house? I've been up here a few times and I've not seen him up here. I sure hope I'm going the right way. Like, it's not ended yet, so surely it must be going well. I haven't seen him in a while, though, which is a bit concerning. Hopefully he's just stuck somewhere. I think I won. I, okay, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> I missed him. He's nimble for a man of his age. There we go. That should teach him. Stop scamming the town with your stupid cameras or whatever. <laughs> oh, I got the screams of anger as well. Yeah! An older boy told me to do it. An older boy? Oh, he told me to do it. I think I kicked off his lower jaw. It's gone. Oh, no, it's back. He's fine. Smithers, release the hounds. And if this oaf is an employee of the plant, fire him at once. I wasn't really doing any work. Any oh, my God. What the hell was that? <laughs> that whole thing. The end of the cutscene, getting rammed by the cops, getting arrested. But that means we're on to Bart's level, which is a really fun one, if I'm remembering right. Although I think the difficulty might spike, so we might be in trouble. And Bart's model is a little bit terrifying. And also Millhouse. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Millhouse. Put him in the catapult. Put him in the catapult. <laughs> Damn it, you can't. Okay, so avoid Principal Skinner and go buy video games. That sounds easy enough. I'll get you, Bart. Oh my god. <laughs> I nearly landed on his head. How did he know it was me? Afraid so. Jesus Christ. I might be expelled, but he'll get the death penalty. <laughs> okay, I think he just crashed somewhere because I lost him instantly. I don't know where he got lost. All right, I think I should be driving a car like this instead. I got the last game. Oh my god, Jimbo is cursed. Oh, that thing just exploded. Look at his eyes, his mouth. Give it up for America's bad boy. <laughs> Jimbo's like, um, what? I kick everyone before I talk to them. Assert dominance. Okay, now instead of playing video games, I'm going to collect fireworks. <laughs> Energy depleting. Need sugar. I don't think I'll need it. My car will be a firework in a second. Oh, wait, I can, I can repair it over here. Uh-oh. I can hear someone taking pictures of me. Ah. <laughs> Not very discreet. Hey, can I get a ride <laughs> since you're here anyway? Wait, what the hell is Barney drinking? I'm inside of Barney, by the way. Oh, it's Varnish. Okay, well, enjoy. Now that I have a timed event and also that he keeps snapping and it's making that annoying noise. I'm thinking maybe this wasn't the best idea. Okay, ignore the camera. Out of the way, wannabe. One dozen of your best to you on a toilet crack. Just give me fireworks. Get into your vehicle. I think I should swap. As much as I like driving around with that cameraman, but I always have time to launch a cat into space. Wait, I just knocked down Ralph. Chief Wiggum is right over there and he did nothing. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Look at him, he's still watching. All right, I'm gonna knock him down again and I'm gonna grab those fireworks and get out of here. 
Oh, maybe not. Luckily, once again, I think he's stuck. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? I mean, I shouldn't complain, to be fair. This is very helpful. I think I have enough fireworks. Why am I collecting all of these? Oh, no, I'm going back to the video game now. I have enough fireworks, but I'm not going to use them. Who is this? <laughs> Race the nerd to the Java server. Okay. Please just get stuck and make it easy for me. No, 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 no. I didn't mean me. I want him to get stuck. Okay, I'm breaking many laws of physics, but I'm somehow winning. <laughs> oh, I'll thank you not to moan in my mid-sized vehicle. What? I'm not in your vehicle. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was just a general request. He didn't say I did. He just asked me not to. I gotta play Bone Storm 2. Give me one. I'm still looking for the video game. <laughs> I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live and we can- Seems reasonable to ask a 10 year old, let's go. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, I need to follow that van? I should have never got out. I'd be in that van right now. I'm making this nice and easy by just driving in front of him at a slow pace, so he's also at a slow pace. Oh, there's someone underneath his car- Oh, it's Lenny! Not hell is going on here? What is he doing? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna talk to Chief Wiggum like the game is asking me to do. Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. I mean, oh. Snake was just ramming into vehicles right next to you, but I knocked down your child and you didn't notice, so I'm guessing you need glasses. Look for the thief and I even get a picture of him. Oh, I remember this one being difficult. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> What happened to you? Okay, I have to race him to get the radio back. He wants to add illegal street racing versus a child to his rap sheet. Hey, you were supposed to eat my dust. Who is he talking to? <laughs> Snake is way behind. Like, I'm collecting coins here. <laughs> that's it, Snake. I'm the criminal now. I want your vehicle. Wait, uh, can I not drive it? <laughs> oh, that's sad. Can I borrow your satellite dish? There's always just chaos in every, like, in quote, cutscene. There's just a flaming car behind us. Collect the flat meat before time runs out. Avoid a <laughs> and then just the smiley face. Like, look at that car just smoking away over there. Oh, I remember this one being relatively hard. <laughs> I just know a lot of the missions were, like, simple enough and then randomly sprinkled in. There's ones that are just near impossible. Okay, I've murdered a few people. I should probably collect their meat too. But we'll settle for roadkill that are animals right now and head back to the Krusty Burger. Maybe I can upsell him on the human meat next time. Oh no, I've killed 12 people. You know what that means? The cops are almost after me. I better be careful. Oh, there's a poo. I was wondering. I'm just gonna pray he gets stuck and go off in a random direction. It works. <laughs> Take this satellite dish as a reward. She gets 14 channels, including the Outhouse channel. Man, I love watching that. I don't even want to know what the Outhouse channel is. I'm going to pray it's like an Outhouse makeover channel. But I got my satellite. Building a better future for him. I don't remember seeing that. Hold on, I'll be right with you, Mr. Frank. I'm just doing some vandalism. You know, boys will be boys. I remember when I was young and used to go around destroying vending machines with my bare hands. Now fetch me a blender with the puree and the frappe and the lip. Okay, this feels like something you could get yourself. <laughs> you get a kick. I mean, everyone gets a kick, but you get like an angry kick. Another race up there from Ralph. I always knew you were a racist. Oh no, this is one of these impossibly hard missions. <laughs> I kicked him out of anger, like, preemptively. You seem like a heavy drinker. Do you have a blender? Not now, okay? My monkeys have escaped. That's a good conversation starter. Okay, I'll need the Mr. Plow truck that I've already bought, but now I need to buy it from my other character for 200. Look at his little face up there. Even he knows this is wrong. Why is he just hanging out in the hospital car park anyway? <laughs> Staring off into the void. I need your truck, Homer. Why should I give you that? Because I love you. <laughs> Pay up, sucker. You're charging your own son? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Fair enough. Can't really argue with that. What else can I get from him? Oh, it's just this? I swear you can get different vehicles. I'm just not sure where I get them on this level. Yeah, this is the bloody mission. This is it. It's awful. <laughs> and I hate it. I have to collect monkeys. It's just... they're all over the place. Like, I don't even know what route to take. I'm just going at random at the moment and hoping for the best. There's one thing I love to do. It's just jumping in without any preparation or planning whatsoever. That's why I end up in situations like this. Can I get up here? Okay, I can. Oh, I even got that from down there. Excellent. How do I jump again? <laughs> not a good... Oh my god! What is happening? It's not a good time to be trying to figure out the controls. <gasps> no, there's one up there. I assume there wasn't. All right, you know what? I'll get these first and then go over the ramp. Are these actual, like, 
monkeys just jumping around the town. Why is no one addressing this? Why does no one care? Where's Chief Wigan when you need him? Probably watching his son get absolutely flattened by a truck and doing nothing about it. I feckin' missed it. Oh my god. I better not lose on just this one monkey, because up till now, I think I had a pretty amazing route. Okay. Okay. Yes! That was actually pretty good. I love the random funny signs they have up around. For Elise. <laughs> Welcome home, daddy's little angels. Now, to put electrodes you in your You talking to brains. me and Bart? Or your- oh, your monkeys. Okay, well, I hope so. I don't want anything in my brain. It's been empty for so long, I don't want to change now. So, can I see the Truckasaurus thing? Yes, is a word I would love to be able to say. Oh my god, you bastard. He keeps stalling this. The interference would then cause the monster to malfunction. Okay, fair enough. I will kill everyone using a mobile phone then. At least I've got the right vehicle for it. Alright, you're using a mobile phone, you die. I'm a boomer who's chosen to go back in time and stop this old cell phone business right from the start. Okay, he blew himself up. I think this might be the last mission of this stage, which is like pretty amazing considering I've only been doing this stage for about 25 minutes. It's time for Again, he blew himself up. Okay, that one was me. <laughs> I have no excuse for that one. <laughs> At least this one's been caught on camera. I didn't do this one. There we go. And drive to the stadium. God, these missions were actually not too bad. I think I got lucky on the monkey one. I just remember there being hard missions on this one, but now that I think about it, it might be in Apu's section, who you may have forgotten has his own section in this game, which was always a bit weird to me. I don't know why it wasn't like Grandpa or something, but his missions are very difficult. Okay, so now we get one of these fancy, smancy cutscenes. Bart is about to be absolutely demolished by this truck dinosaur, and then he just goes missing. Honestly, the storyline confused the bejesus out of me when I was a child. I didn't understand what was going on at all. Like, he got away from that, only to be abducted by aliens out of nowhere. And he's gone. Now we're on to Lisa's levels, which honestly are very good other than Lisa being absolutely terrifying. She's probably the most terrifying out of all the characters just in this dimension. I think it's the hair. But her level is actually, I think, one of my favorites. It's a really cool level. Okay, I need to race this nerd again to the Itchy and Scratchy store, get the comic back before the time runs out. I don't understand why I have to be here if he's driving though. Maybe like a carpool lane situation? If I can remember this level, I can go down here. Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> Oh, not so much. I have to go around here. Hold on. I got this. Yes. This was a very dodgy shortcut, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's why. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just driving and taking every shortcut that I remember. I got here. Return before the comic deteriorates, and I have a minute and a half. I like how they at least came up with a reason for it, though. And it's, like, somewhat believable of the character, because otherwise being timed makes zero sense. Oh my god, Lisa, calm down. You already look terrifying. You don't need to be screaming all the time, too. Now to get this inky treasure into its mylar sanctuary. What about Bart? What a great angle for this dramatic scene. Like, he literally saw Bart before he went missing. We were also racing. Maybe he just didn't want to admit that he hangs out with miners in his car. <laughs> Hello, Millhouse. Tell me we're Bart. <laughs> oh my god, his little pathetic cry. Bart's disappeared. You have to help me find him. Well, he might be a Wally Weasels. He likes the smell of the ball cage. Did he just say Bart likes the smell of the ball pit? I think everyone in this game is a weirdo. <laughs> All right, well, I can't find Bart, but I found Maggie. I lost Maggie again. <laughs> Where's Bart? <sighs> I think he's at the planet hype. This guy's obviously lying to me. It's him that likes the smell of the ball pit. I'm here driving like an absolute lunatic, and I bet Milhouse is still gonna beat me there. Oh god. I hope those were <laughs> they just repaired the sign and I destroyed it again. Yep, here he is. Every time I just direct impact him with my vehicle. I can do this all night. Keep leading me around. I heard Bart might be out by the Springfield sign. Perhaps you'd like to share some chewing gum. I would. <laughs> I mean, no, that's disgusting. Oh no, the police know I was up for sharing gum. <laughs> Bill has ratted me out. I'm out of here. Nobody knows, but they arrested me. It's going to go on her permanent record. Now you're never going to be president. <laughs> I've ruined her life. Oh my god, this little weasel. Can I knock him off the bridge? Wait, forward moment. There we go. The guilt. <laughs> he just launched back and then went straight back down again. Where is he? Oh, they just teleported him up. Well, that was an, a ginormous waste of time, so you're dead. It's cannon. And if you come back, I will fire you out of a cannon. 
Oh, I was kicking this ball against the car for just a bit of downtime, but that's not a ball, that's a poo. A very bad man is delivering roadkill to all the Krusty Burgers. Let's kill him. Which are cheaper than my quickie dog. Wait, if they're cheaper than yours, what are you making your food out of? I forgot how good a poo's car is. We'll have this soon enough. I never knew the roadkill business was so competitive and lucrative. Clientess is bringing the- <laughs> That was pretty cool. Yeah, I love giving people whiplash. And then she realizes, oh yeah, my brother's missing. The hell was that? Is that my car? <laughs> I think that was my car. What happened? Was a poo still in it? Is he dead? Will we just skip his section? Nobody knows. All right. I'm pulling the alarm to show I'm serious. And I'm teleporting your monkey to show I'm capable of anything. My brother Bart is missing. Have you seen him? Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster and then disappeared in a bright light. And you didn't tell anyone. What the hell is that thing in the jar? It has eyes. I got my mojo working now. Yeah, who cares? We got our mojo working. What outfits can I get? Lisa Cool. I think I need that at some point. Lisa Florida. Very fashionable. You can tell it's homemade, but with love. Ah, good grandpa. Just hanging out here in his slippers. Let's not worry about him at all and just ask him for help. I think my baby teeth are going back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. Yep, let's just ignore this and go help Bart. Oh, I gotta purchase a school bus at Camp Krusty for 300 coins. Luckily, I've been collecting as many as I can. God, Otto in the corner really looks like he needs those 300 coins. He's looking rough. Wait, I forgot you could drive them like this. I will be there in no time. And we get to listen to the pleasant sounds of steel on tarmac. Go around! Here we are. Otto, you can probably tell I need a new vehicle. Oh my god, he's not even looking down at me. School bus for 300 coins. Huh. Back in my day, that's how much they cost. But with inflation, school bus probably costs like maybe even... 305 now. Okay, I got Bart's lucky red hat. Grandpa said it fell out of this black sedan. He also said that his baby teeth were growing in and he punched a nurse, but oh well, I'm gonna kill this man. Oh, wait, oh my god, he saved it. He's an action hero. There we go. Oh my god, she just laughs like a maniac. The whole family is going down after this. I'm sure enough of those vans got enough pictures to uh, put us away for life. Wait, another one? Wait, uh, why am I destroying this one also, though? The hat fell out of the other one. Ah, sure, feck it. Kill now, ask questions later. Task failed successfully. Don't really even know what happened to this guy. He's just kind of dead. <laughs> I hit him once, but he's just been hitting into other things himself. What's going on? Oh, she's pissed off because she didn't actually murder anyone in that one. Someone call the cops! Ah, oh, that's why he's not been doing anything. He doesn't know he's a cop. You need a disguise. Purchase Lisa's cool clothes. And, oh, 250. Do I have that many coins? Oh, god damn it, I'm short. Wait, I have an idea. Exit. Unlock all rewards. Launch. Honestly, I think this is a better disguise. It's like, oh, that's just a sandwich. But I'll go with Lisa cool. I think I just got the reference of this. Like, the, the wooden poles going in here. I think I think each of them make one bowling pin, if I'm remembering the episode right. There's just so many references packed in here everywhere. Okay, follow Snake and find three strikes of evidence against him. This seems way more important than a missing child. Counterfeit designer jeans. Oh my god, that's the death penalty in itself. Isn't this a strike? Like, he's, he's ramming a cop. Strike two. Running over an elderly person without a license. But if he had a license, it would be fine. I have one, that's why it's been okay. Wait, oh, there's a dog in the boot. I was like, is that a body? Oh no, he's gonna dump it on the bridge, isn't he? Oh no, I, I'll let him get away. I'll assume he died. Oh no, oh no. All right, we're fine. <laughs> that thing is going to kill me at some point. I'm gonna end up as a bowling pin myself. Now. About your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. And you don't want to do anything about it? <laughs> Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. Yay, I won, I won! At least he's aware of it, I guess. Lisa just celebrating like, I won! <laughs> Meanwhile, her brother is still missing. I've got a shipment here of live mackerel. You navigate the fishies to the finest restaurants in the squid. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure this is a hard mission. I'm gonna fail it the first time for sure because I just don't know what's happening. These men have gathered around and they're doing this weird dance in sync. And I, I don't know, I'm too socially awkward to leave now. Is she just delivering them? I thought she was vegetarian, like... Now you'll never be fried and served with 
Oh, she is freeing them. I, I don't know where. I think she's just throwing them out on the road. For someone so smart, she doesn't know much about how fish like to live, does she? It's like, oh no, I wouldn't put them in the water. Then they'd drown. That's cruel. Also, it's a little bit risky given that that captain might have a lead on Bart. And I'm just flinging his fish all over town. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna make it. I've got three... Do what? Yes! Oh, and thank goodness it's not time to get back. <laughs> I've yet to, like, properly fail anything, have I? Or have I just repressed it? I could become a Simpsons hit and run speedrunner. Although I don't have a lot of patience, and I get angry if I fail things and have to redo them. So maybe it's not the best move for me, but I think it's my calling. Oh, uh, okay, I'm fine. But yeah, it's my calling. Yep, my calling. There she drove. All right, let's kill him. I'm sick of Bart getting all the attention. It's Lisa time. I kill. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm stuck under a lamp. Oh, come on. I think I have the wrong car for this. I'm doing zero damage. I'm doing negative damage. If anything, I'm buffing out previous marks he had on his vehicle. I can clearly see it's a police officer, but I'm going to keep ramming him. Bart gets blamed for that. What, Bart gets blamed for it? <laughs> He's been kidnapped. <laughs> Jesus! All right, and with that crazy NPC, the mission has failed. I should have said nothing. I jinxed it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get a better vehicle. It's pretty ruined, but uh, here we go. We're going this way now. Wow, my hair! There we go. That was much easier. The cop and possibly Bart are dead. Mission completed. And once again, task failed successfully. This reminds me of when I was a little girl. What? And you hijacked a bus and killed a man? Oh, God! Even in the cutscene, she's like, yeah, <laughs> Bart's dead. He got out and he boarded that ship. How are you all seeing all of this and why is no one helping me? All right, I need to board the sea spanker. I can still use this phone. It's still good. It's still good. I got some wires there. I just connected up a can. Oh, no. I think I'm on the wrong ramp. Oh, I'm definitely on the wrong ramp. I'm just thinking if I fail, I'm going to have to do the entire chase of the limo again, aren't I? And I said it was easy, but then I'm not going to be able to complete it again. It's just the way these things go. Oh, I think I made it. Oh, yeah, I made it all right. Oh, no! These guys are everywhere. Oh, the guilt. Oh, now she's acting like she is guilt now that the cops are here. Okay, we're just going to gently alley-oop and land. Nearly crush my brother. Hop out. Sorry. Kick him from the ship. There we go. <laughs> Is he gonna come back up or do I go down to him? Okay, I think I go down to him. Oh no! <laughs> All right, where is he? Quickly talk to him. Okay, we're back up on the ship. And after all this, he won't even engage in small talk. It's tiny talk. It doesn't even qualify as talk, actually. What's your favorite catchphrase? Kiss my grits. <laughs> I used to love in The Simpsons when Bart said, kiss my grits. They would get the whole family laughing. Oh, Bart, I'm so happy you're home. <laughs> but never leave again. Was that a pretty convincing marriage voice. That was me, by the way. It wasn't the in-game voice or anything. It's just my impression. Get out of my way! <laughs> okay, that was in-game. He's talking, though. It's working. A mother always knows best. Live, laugh, love, Bart. She's got stilettos on, too. <laughs> yeah, get out of the way. Oh, now you can't talk. What's causing your ooga booga talk? My special little guy's noogle has turned to goo. <laughs> Do you think her voice actress sometimes looks at the lines and goes, what, what, what is this? Oh my god, I forgot how could Marge's run was. <laughs> Look at, oh, she's stuck. She's stuck, everyone. <laughs> Having three kids really slows you down. Oh, that's why? Okay, I thought you were just stuck. So this is the first map again, but at night and from Marge's perspective. We got vehicle here. What's the first mission? Follow the police to Laird Lads. I mean, I could just go there first, right? God, it's the only time they're actually driving fast is when they need donuts. My child was missing and they didn't care. <laughs> there we go. I beat him here. <laughs> Despite him moving at the speed of light, he's like, oh, for donuts, I'll do anything. But my son getting murdered in front of me, I sleep. Kill. Oh, wait, no. I hit the donut truck. <laughs> I genuinely thought it said kill. I was like, oh, at least they're not hiding it anymore. You haven't seen the last of me. I... Definitely believe that because there's about seven NPCs, so I will see you again. I like how Marge was out on a crusade to stop violent video games, but her solution to everything so far has been violence. And she just laughs about it. Oh no, what the hell happened to the truck there? I think it's a little bit stuck. Not very good at this. 
I'm not very good at this. I feel like she's insulting me constantly by saying that. It's clearly directed at me, the passive aggressive nature. Are you blind? Stop insulting me, Marge. What the hell? You're supposed to be the nice one. I'm gonna get her the worst outfit possible after this. Not another she says as she knocks over another child. Look, I'm doing this for Wiggum. We're gonna get this pardoned, all right? No matter how many children I kill. Busted, doesn't matter. I'm talking to Wiggum. Boy, for a busybody housewife, you sure get results. That's what he says after I murder five children. Oh my god, what's after happening? <laughs> Best outfit ever, Marge. But I'm still getting you a horrible one. Do I have a map or anything? I actually have no idea. I've just been doing all of this by memory, but I don't know if I have a map. Wait, I have two missions here. Uh, hello? I'll take care of this for you if you help me take care of some things. Wait, you have to specify what things, because no one helps me do anything in this game. Go to the school to collect all the intercepted gifts. Don't let the time run out. I don't remember this mission at all. Is this an optional mission? It might be optional, but I feel obligated to do it, because it's in the name of love. Him and Skinner's mom. You know, we're all suckers for young love. Easy. Easy. <laughs> She says as she's ramping over Krusty Burger. I'm guessing I can get some outfits at the Quickie Mart, so I might head there. Collect the intercepted gifts. Wait, there's some on the feckin' roof. What's he doing with them? Kind of regretting helping now. I assumed it would be easy. But now there's just minimal effort. I'm like, uh, I don't really care about love anymore. Okay, I got some underpants. How do I get out there? Oh my god. He really doesn't want her getting those gifts. Oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna get them either by the looks of it. Oh no. Oh my god. They nearly launched me off the roof. Okay, we got it. Now return to the comic. But God, God damn it. Right, get me my car. I need to try out some of the other cars as well because I don't think I ever unlocked all the cars in this game. I used to get the bare minimum because I just wouldn't have enough coins. I hope we get a really romantic cutscene between Agnes and comic book guy that'll probably scar us all for life if it actually happens. Okay, and while I did all that, you stood here. <laughs> Here's my number. Give me a call if you want I, to I don't want it. No, I, I, I do not want this. <laughs> Bonus mission complete. Okay, do I get anything from it? You've unlocked the comic book guy's... I already had that. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just keep going then. Note to self, never help anyone out of the goodness of my heart ever again. Oh, no, a Cletus mission. These are always hard. Are you blind? Yeah, are you blind, parked vehicle? No, Cletus, it's me, Marge. Marge. What? <laughs> okay, he's just gonna flee from me. I mean, I would too. <laughs> Even that I just drove into his driveway, destroyed his vehicle. Oh my god, those cows are terrifying. I don't remember seeing them last time. What am I even collecting off him that's worth driving through a nuclear power plant? Oh my god, some of the NPCs are nuts in this game. All right, got it. I really wish I knew what it was I was collecting. How come I can't kick you, but I can kick my son? Oh, I got you. All right, never run from me again. But I ain't telling you nothing, less than you help us with the harvest. Harvest? If I'm going to be doing yard work, I better change. Oh, no. I mean, I can do that. We can go wash up after we're done the missions. All right, you know what? We wanted to get a new outfit anyway. I just wanted to wear my own thing, not be forced into it. Mm, is it the future yet? I just... I don't want to address that. <laughs> I have, I'm having a busy day. I don't really want to try and save him. Was it inmate they wanted? I'm assuming this isn't the one for yard work. Her outfits aren't that great. Okay, I'm back. It's like get in the vehicle, but I've backed it out into the street. All right, we need to harvest ketchup packets for the winter. Yeah, we're, we're going to hibernation. We'll just store up ketchup in, in our cheeks. We need them ketchup packets people done throw it out to feed on. Yeah, I always throw mine at the top of a fire truck ladder. <laughs> me all of the time. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I missed the shortcut, but hopefully I can catch up. Please laugh. Hmm. Mr. Burns is rich. He should have many ketchup. I forgot that this part opened, to be honest, in marriage's level. Checkmate. No, 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 no. The last one is above. Can I get out of the car to get it? That is the question. Get back in your car. I don't want to. I want the ketchup packet. Why can't I pick it up and put it? No, this isn't fair. How was I supposed to know it would just be floating up in the air in the nuclear power plant? Oh, I'm flying like a turkey. I mean, he's not wrong. I should pay more attention. I don't know why. I'm just playing. Playing as marriage, it feels like she's always talking indirectly to me, like, oh, I should pay more attention. But in reality, she's talking about me. She's just criticizing me the entire time. Okay, so it leads you down this way, but actually you have to back up and take the ramp instead. What a sick joke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, thank God. And now I have 40 seconds to get back to his house. Oh, wait. Okay, thank goodness. Get away from the black sedan. He's already confused himself. Oh, no. Now I've confused myself. We're both equally confused as well as this NPC. I've taken the slowest route of escape. Not to worry, though. I think he's still stuck, so we're okay. What an escape. Like, that was probably just an innocent detective. Had reports of some crazy lunatic driving around like a mad woman in a prisoner's outfit. Oh, everyone's favorite character. Actor, mole man. Why didn't he have a level? That was such a missed opportunity. I'm hiding from the police. Oh, you're an outlaw too? Talk to Abe. He mentioned crop circles once. He mentions everything once. He has no idea what he's talking about. All right, race Chief Wiggum to the retirement castle. Why is he locking up? And he just killed the man. Like, he's so strict, but on the weirdest things. <laughs> to slow him down. Wait, is he also taking this shortcut? <gasps> you madman. Grandpa. I made it. I'm here to talk to you. I can't tell you about crop circles right now. Those lousy renegades stole my pills. Without my egg relief, I'll start biting nurses. See, this isn't helpful at all. He's just going off on a rant. All right, I need his meds back from the bullies. This is beyond bullying, stealing an old man's medication. But I guess the cops are busy locking the old folks up rather than actually caring for them, which honestly is very reasonable. You can only do so much. You think he'll just give it back? Like, I, I'm in prison now. Outfit. Who knows what I went away for? It was for stealing old men's medication, by the way. Okay, so they swapped it for something else. A black sedan in front of the school. They're collecting evidence. The hell do they want with grandpa's medication? Look away, people. Nothing to say. Yeah, please look away, because I've missed one. I need to go back, and I think I'm going to fail. Does he come? But, oh, god damn it. I failed to collect the item. I just picked it up. I heard the sound. It gave me the serotonins. Oh, and I gotta start the whole bloody mission again. It's gonna start getting really hard now, isn't it? Maybe I should look at what other cars I have. Even though Marge's one is actually pretty good. I like it. But if I fail any missions, it sucks. And it's not my fault. Okay, I think I have enough. Like, I have enough for a week. How do I even know that they have 10 in total? I never visit Grandpa. We don't care about him. We found him wandering at the observatory and we just left him there. I like the escaping missions. These are much easier. <laughs> I just drive like a lunatic and take every turn I can. Ice your wounds! Yeah, ice your wounds, Gramps. I got your medication. Your crazy medicine, Grandpa. Your crazy medication. Jesus. Oh, great. Now I need something to wake him up. Oh my god, it never ends. All right, go to the quickie. Wait, he's he's awake. He's looking at me. He's turning. I think he's a drug addict and we're just enabling this behavior. Uh, you just got robbed. You're looking at me. Well, uh, to be fair, I am in the prison outfit. It kind of makes sense. I was the perfect cover for those guys. They're going to think I was in on it. Oh my god, they're giving us a cutscene. It's a very important part of the story, apparently. Ah, what? <sighs> For the last freaking time, tell me about the crop circles. There I was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen, when one of them... Oh my god. What are in these pills? It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Oh, very fancy. This is actually a cool little cutscene. Deep kind of like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that will jog Bart's memory. Okay, yes. I like that solution. To heal Bart instead of taking him to a hospital, we'll just give him lots of cola. Enter Bart's bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna enter it through the window to give him a heart attack. I'm gonna try and scare this madness out of him. Or let's give him more madness, I'm not sure. Hey, Bart, wanna see my new outfit? Oh, since I'm here in your room, Bart, I would like to take uh, this classy woman's outfit that you have. There we go. I'm ready for mission. Oh my god, that crusty walkie-talkie's terrifying. Oh my god, the crusty phone. There's always something terrifying in these cutscenes. Oh, it wants me to wear the police outfit. I just put on my Sunday best. Objective, look at your new outfit in the mirror. Okay. Wait, must I do this on foot? Locate all the Buzz Cola. Why is there so much of it in my yard? I don't think I'm completing this. On the first try, the camera changing is not helping me. All right, there we go. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. I might do it. <laughs> Despite getting completely stuck on that, I somehow managed to complete the mission. Who knows why I had to be dressed as a cop? Drive to the Quickie Mart. I will not. I will walk there. I love running. <laughs> That's why I have this great running pose. Oh, there's ham on the bargain table, Marge. We should get it. And some teeth. That's it. 
I'm going after it and any other evil cola trucks I can find. Oh no, she was already violent. Now she actually has a reason to be. It's time for merge mode. Get into your vehicle. Can I get a different one? I want something nice and strong. I want the toughest car I have. Hers is already four. I need something four and a half or five then. The bus is five, but we've already used that. Oh yes, fire truck. <laughs> Even though it has half a star acceleration. Police officer driving a fire truck just out murdering for the night. Okay, I think this might be actually too slow to get anything done. <gasps> Unless I do that, just guide them into walls. Careful. I have bad reflexes. Yeah, well, me too. So sorry, but you're dead now. All right, well, that man is dead just from doing his normal nine to five. Some lunatic in a fire truck has killed him. His family will mourn his loss. Wait, where is the next one? Oh, it's it's going inside the mansion. Okay, seems reasonable. <laughs> I can't even fit. I'm just kind of letting him knock himself out. Like literally, he just continues to ram me. I hope that this will work. It seems to be doing quite well. There's poor people getting absolutely smashed in between us as well. Yeah, I can't actually move if I wanted to. So I hope this works. <laughs> I can't even see inside the tunnel anymore, but I think my strategy is working. Oh no, I don't know if he's gonna do it in time. Come on, dude, you can do this. No, oh, don't laugh. I don't think I want this vehicle. It's far too slow. Armored truck. God knows where she got it. No wonder they always have money problems. They have like 20 vehicles. Oh my God. Oh, I tried to land on him. I probably shouldn't try the same strategy again, should I? Yeah, all right, let's let's go. Come on. We'll settle this in the mansion. Or maybe not. I seem to have him a little bit confused. Who knows what's going on, honestly. Now he's ramming me. I can't get out. Keep Canyon Narrow. I just realized we came out of that hatch that we noticed on Homer's level, the like boards. So it all linked up after all. And now I'm just stuck. This has nothing to do with them. Oh, don't tell me there's another one. I think there's a wrench there, but I can't, I can't see anything. Okay, I have just been completely silent this entire time because I just want to beat this. I don't want to have to do this again. Okay, phew. And now I just gotta get away from the cops. Why do my actions have to have consequences? I think I might have lost him using the same old roof I always use. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Nice girls, finish fast. She's just laughing away hysterical half the time. Cops are after me. I'm leading them straight to my house. Oh, and that's level complete. All right, well, inside my house is outside their jurisdiction, so there's nothing they can do. See, this is where I remembered it going straight into the Homer section last time I played this, but it actually goes straight into the Apu section. Look at him, ready to go. He's like, yep, I am Apu Simpson. I see the connection more now, like Marge went to Apu and told him about the cola, but it was just such a throwaway line that I never really connected it before. It just felt like the game went, okay, now you're a poo for some reason. Wait, what does it want me to do? I'm I'm here. I have no objective. I don't understand. Do, oh, okay. <laughs> I will be reincarnated as a sea cucumber. Aha, so there's his motivation. Oh my god, we're kicking up a storm here. <laughs> I think these are some of my least favorite missions, just like collecting stuff because they take such jagged movements sometimes and you just miss a package you got to go back you end up failing they end up getting stuck for some reason is he good okay he's good or you look over to make sure your obs is still recording okay and then you miss a package and then you fail oh or maybe you don't because you're an epic gamer i am a pro gamer <laughs> this is definitely something i believe in i'm not lying to myself your misfortune is most entertaining to me dude aren't you supposed to slow down when i fall behind <laughs> come back <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I somehow managed to do it. Yep, we're taking on the mob. Die, mob. Yeah, the poo wins. <laughs> you shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. It could come back to haunt you and your family. Oh my gosh, your thinly veiled threat has reminded me of my fatherly duties. I'm supposed to pick up the octoplets at the doctor's. Oh, look, everyone. It's Lenny. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to need a bigger car. <laughs> so we learned nothing other than that we are a bad father. Oh, and now the mob is chasing us. Probably shouldn't have started kicking them at the own little hideout. Wait a second, what if he was just trying to give me that limo so I could go pick up the octoplets? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, where's the hospital? Okay, thank god it's here. Wait, they knew I was going to the hospital. They've cut me off. Just taking the most awkward route possible. Okay, they can never follow that. It's impossible. Your babies are about to go to the bathroom all over my waiting room. What? Diapers aren't covered by your insurance. Oh no, oh god. I will get the diapers, but there's no way I could fit them in my car. 
Maybe Mr. Homer will have a large gas guzzling American vehicle that I could use. Oh, excellent. Another reason to have to buy a vehicle. Oh, I thought it said a Homer car and that was just a really cursed Homer in there. But that's Professor Frank and it's a hover car. Okay, is it this one I'm supposed to be using? Yes, I need to use this to collect diapers because reasons. It makes sense, okay? Just try not to think about it. This is a van full of children. <laughs> Let's get them. Oh my god, they are ugly children. Definitely get them. Oh, the worst thing about stealing all their diapers is they're gonna need adult diapers after this too. They're gonna have like every medical issue under the sun. There we go. There's your last diapers. I punched you into the hospital there as well. <laughs> Brought you here. Figured you might need it. I'm a good person deep down. Apparently to Apu, all these methods are justified by the end. He doesn't want to get reincarnated as anything bad for having bad cola in his store after all. I wish to ask a favor. Everyone wants to wet their oh, beaks. Oh, the NPC also wants to get involved here, wants to get some screen time. <laughs> Unfortunately, from this angle, she just can't be seen at all. <gasps> they replaced the billboard from earlier. It's the Homer. <laughs> Look at him waving. Okay, slight issue. I need clothes and I was not paying attention, so now I don't know where to buy the clothes. I also don't know how to check my objective. Ah, Moe's. That makes sense, yeah. As in Mo clothes. Yes, it does. I knew it. Oh, I want the B-Sharps outfit. <laughs> but we gotta be American for now. I am a lean, mean, vindaloo machine. Jesus, I don't understand what happened there at all. I need to check myself out in the reflection, apparently. There we go. Follow the police to find a criminal. Follow the trail of donuts to find Chief Wiggum. Okay, seems reasonable. He went over the fountain here. <laughs> Just dropped one in the sky. Oh, look at that. I did all this and he's at the police station. Who would have guessed? And now he's going wild because he doesn't have his donuts. He's smashing into everyone. He's angry. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, feck off. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> And he's trash talking me and everything. Oh, and I still have to find him with these donuts. They've given up like slowing down for me now. If they get ahead, they don't do that anymore. If anything, they go faster. No, come on. I went right next to it. Please let me make this. I should probably use a faster car. Or, you know, just any other car. This one was built by Homer. Oh, oh my God. Where's he going? What? Oh no. What's he doing? Okay. We're back on the road. I think that was an accident. He just smashes into everything in sight. Okay. Put on your indicator. God damn it. I have an excuse. Mine aren't even plugged in. Jesus, he just killed a family of four and a man driving a truck. Okay, mission complete. What What am I doing here? What is the point of all of this? Hand over your wallet, dude. This is totally- To get mugged. Ah, makes sense. You have to pick up the litter for my community service. It is a deal. Deal. Now hand over your wallet. Yes, yes. Okay, whatever. we made a deal, but I'm still getting mugged. My coins. That is a lovely picture of you, Mole Man. I got paid for that as well. Maybe I should just get a job here. I see Lisa has finally smashed through a wall with her school bus. Given the way I was driving, it's not surprising. Why did I not change my car? <laughs> oh my god, it vibrates a lot and turns. What? Where are you going? <laughs> I'm following a lunatic as usual. He's turning again. <laughs> His GPS must be lagging. Pull a U-turn immediately. Pull a U-turn immediately. Pull a U-turn immediately. He's smashing into everything, including me. Okay, there we go. Wait, I have to collect loads on foot and it's timed and I got a horrible time getting here because of him. <laughs> Alright, let's hope for the best. I hate repeating this sort of stuff, so I hope I can do this. Okay, alright, okay, I think that's the hardest part done. Jumping over that awful gap. Really going to a lot of lengths here to check on my cola supplier. I could just stop stocking it. I feel like I need a vehicle here and I, I, <laughs> I can't find one, so I'm just running around aimlessly. I'm flying! You're not, dude. You're falling repeatedly. Oh, this was awful. <laughs> this could not have gone worse. Oh my god, I just started clicking get in vehicle and I got this. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle doesn't even understand which way the ground is anymore. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, get his car. Get in. Come on. No time for your animations. I'm beeping at myself. Yes, come on. Oh my god, how did I do this given everything that happened? Wait, I have to get back on the timer? Oh my god. It's across the entire town. How am I supposed to do- I got so screwed on this mission. For once, it was really like only half my fault. Okay, I think I can do it in his vehicle and I'm gonna 
try and drive really close to him so that he drives even faster. Okay, he's definitely making speed. He was popping wheelies there and everything. Okay, he didn't smash into that wall head first this time. That's good. Okay, I think I made it here in a little bit faster time, but not actually that much. I thought the last one was really bad, but it turns out that guy's just a really, really bad slash drunk driver. Okay, I made the jump. Now, as long as I can find any vehicle whatsoever, I think I'm okay. Come on, dude. Anything. Come on, you. Yes, just pull up. Come on. All right, I may as well go to my car at this rate. I honestly don't think I did much better than last time. I have like an extra 10 seconds or something. I don't think I can do this. Oh, I was on the last turn. Oh, this mission is brutal. I even like remember it. I had definitely repressed it a little bit, but I think I have a better route down now at least. I might try a different car too. Oh, that's more like it. The bandit. And now I look even more American. Come on, dude, go. <laughs> like pushing him along now. Okay, that wasn't a bad time. I think that was close enough to the last one. And I've got my route so that I come up here, do this terrifying jump, and then rather than jumping down for those, I'm gonna go back to my vehicle straight away. We'll get those ones, drop off the fire truck, turn back around, go through here, stop there. <laughs> Hopefully not fail the jumps. Yes, very good. Okay, back into the car that is pointing the correct way. And we got one minute 20 to get back. That's our best by far. I honestly think this is a little bit slower than the car built for Homer. I think that's the fastest one I've used. As much as I complained. Oh my god, I made it back with a load of time this time. 35 seconds. My friend has the information at the DMV. Wait, is this your friend? <laughs> oh no, I need to go meet your friend. Who is this guy then? Or is this just some random dude. Collect the folder. Excellent. <laughs> I gotta have a bed for this. Greetings, loyal customer. They're having a little bit of an oblivion conversation. Yeah, the B sharps. So the folder is empty. Oh my god, after all that, the folder's empty. I just need help with a little more community service. Oh my god, how much community service do you have? It all intertwines, doesn't it? Like, we caught him in the last level with Lisa, and now we end up having to help him out of it. We're getting chased by the police, and they actually seem to be competent for once. Of course. Oh no, I keep crashing. I really don't want to fail. Oh, and now they're really after me. Wait, they've made a roadblock. Oh my god, they helped me. Thank you so much. Destroy the armored car, but the police are still after me. I don't know what to do. I can't really do much to them, so I'm kind of just driving along waiting for a spanner to appear. There's one up there, but my car doesn't know how to jump that high. <gasps> There's one behind there. No, 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 no. Okay, got it. After him. I wish I could use one of my better vehicles for this. Just gonna gently just grind him against the wall. Okay, here we go. Gently. Oh, okay, gently. Oh no, he's turning against me. I think if he wanted to, he could kill me very easily. Oh, chicks love it when I do this. Three. Do they? <laughs> what? <laughs> Grinding your car up against another car? What the hell were you thinking, sir? I honestly don't know, and I don't understand what happened. One more hit should do it, though. Better not have scratched. Or not. Okay, that's fine. Make me look like an idiot. Okay, all right. They just kind of spontaneously combusted in the end. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have repaired my vehicle. Okay, please get lost like you do randomly for me. I need it now more than ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> God, honestly, now I'm really starting to understand why they did not care about Bart. It's all about Snake. If you do not tell me who owns the cola trucks, then I will be forced to use... Profanity. Oh, Jesus, please tell him. I don't want to get demonetized. Okay, let's try and make conversation with this weirdo. I have discovered that the evil cola is being made in the Springfield Museum. But that closes in five minutes. And my car is out of gas. Just fill it up at the Quickie Mart. At those prices? No way. Fine, we'll take my car. Oh, and he's also going to drive me. <laughs> at least he can speak now, so it's not just garbage. Where did he get this car from, though? Did he actually get kidnapped, or is this just an elaborate hoax to get out of wherever the hell he went? Okay, and now I have to kill this guy for God knows what reason. He's so fast, I can't even catch up with him to murder him. How inconsiderate. God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Can't believe earlier when I was saying I haven't failed yet, I was like, hmm, maybe I can complete this game without failing. Okay, this one is going a lot better. <laughs> now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Well, you'd think I'd know what I'm doing because I've done this type of mission like 10 times already. But against this particular enemy, it's best to just ram into him constantly. There we go. Wait, there's more? Oh god, there's more! What? What's up with my car? <laughs> it's just Beyblading for a while there. Shiva H. Vishnu! The cola is dripping from that meteor! Cool! Free deadly cola! 
Ah, yes, it all makes sense now. You see, this is why it confused me as a child, okay? Hell, it's confusing me now. Okay, and now that soda maker on the roof of the museum is destroyed, and the skeleton falls apart. Oh, we did it! We destroyed a priceless archaeological artifact! I saw that coming. What we? I did all the driving. Now let's find out who's behind all this strange cola business. Here we go, looking through the vent. We're gonna find out. Yeah, it's aliens. <laughs> we film these idiotic bipeds with hidden cameras and beam it into yeah, every... this is the plot. It was just such a weird turn. Secretly filming an intergalactic reality show in Springfield. I knew there was a simple explanation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We were overthinking it all along. I'm going to introduce the evil cola into the water supply. People will go mad. I like it. Then we distribute laser guns at the Squidport tourist area. I like it. The cola maddened humans will go berserk. I like it. He seems to just like everything. What size ventilation system do they have? I'm just realizing that now. Apu is like standing up in there. I think that was just trauma from the crash. Like Bart is still in the car. Oh, there is a new Bart section. I wasn't sure if we were going straight to Homer or not. I always repress something. This is going to be hard, isn't it? Apu, you've got to help me warn Krusty about this alien plot and thus save the good people of Springfield. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. Oh, that's very convenient. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. Well, you're just scared of being vaporized by the space monsters. Up, down, up, down, uh, go hot dog, butter my undershirt, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm convinced. <laughs> all right, Apu is no longer helping us. Collect all the kids and get to Krusty Loo Studios before Krusty leaves, okay? Wait, that's the child, like, out there in the middle of the road? I just have to knock them down? All right. <laughs> Just a normal drive then. On one of the children is waiting on this flaming ramp, <laughs> of course. And we died because of them, along with all the rest of the children. Now that I look, the bus is actually empty, so I guess I have just been mowing down these children after all. All right, that wasn't too bad at all, actually. Barney, where's Krusty? I have to warn him. Krusty's not here, little Homer. He's down at the squid port, doing a promo for this new bus cola. But that's the cola the aliens are using to control all human behavior. Control human behavior? Great. The only person we've told about this is Barney. <laughs> the least credible person in the entire universe. How come when he's driving a truck, he can go that fast, but I can't? Talk to the limo driver. What? He's running. So it's just a race, is it? <laughs> I'm so confused by some of these missions. Bye. Oh, thank God that worked. I was really worried for a second. Yes, mission complete, I think. No idea what that was all about, but we're gonna talk to Krusty now. Aliens are handing out free laser guns. Oh, great. Now the clown knows as well. All the important people in town are aware. That's it. A nerd! Professor Frink! Wait, he wants to go back to Professor Frink after last time. Not only that, but he's fleeing. He sees me and he knows he's in legal trouble. The hell is he doing? He's flopping all over the place. Where are we going? He's definitely just trying to evade me. He's doing laps of the town now. I guess I wouldn't blame him. Anyone I chase, I either hunt down or kill. Oh my god, he's doing more laps. He's on his side. Wait, you know he's over there? He's doing more laps of this same area. I think he's just out here trying to harm as many children as he can. No, I might be projecting a little bit. He's jumping a bridge. Yeah, he's a lunatic. He's lost it completely. Looks like Bart has too, that dead stare as he ramped the bridge and not a word out of his mouth. And after all that, we do multiple laps of the town and we just end up at the observatory where we all knew we were going. Oh wait, I can get an outfit. This will make me feel better. Oh, you go, everyone's favorite Bart costume. Yes. This is what the aliens have done to me, Mr. Frink. Do you regret your actions? Even his teeth are all busted. It says they're hiding the lasers in the duff trucks. Excellent, I'll just take out the entire city's beer supply. I'll not the lasers out of the truck so I can show them to Krusty. Why are we trying to prove it to Krusty? I guess he's gonna promote the product, but shouldn't we go to the- No, the police are useless, actually. Yeah, let's- let's visit the clown. He's our best shot at this. The police chief is a bigger clown. Oh my god, I don't think the teeth are because of the costume. It's just from all the direct head-on collisions I've had. Don't have a cow, man. I think I just killed Carol, but who cares? I've knocked down a lot of children on this boardwalk. I mean, I've knocked them down everywhere on the map, but this boardwalk especially. All right, let's get in a cutscene so they legally can't do anything about this whole ordeal. Oh, he got me. Wait, why reset me though? What? Oh god, now I gotta get back in there. Okay, I got the laser gun. I show this laser gun to Krusty. He'll have to believe me. I don't know will he believe you, <laughs> even though you do look a lot more convincing since you literally look like you've been taken prisoner. Principal Skinner! 
Aliens are distributing deadly lasers all over Springfield. We gotta warn everybody. All we've gotta do, young man, is get that illicit goo gaw out of your hands. What? Clearly, you forgot the school's zero tolerance policy on lasers. I have a chain around my ankle, and he's just like, yeah, I better execute you. Fire in the hole. All right, he is the one who died, though, so it's a happy ending, I think. Krusty, I've got proof now. See this laser gun? Well, what do you know? You were telling the truth. You've taught this old clown a lesson. And uh, blah, 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 etc., etc. Stay in school. I can't. My principal is dead. I just killed him. To complete this mission, you will need the Globex supervillain car. Purchase it from Kearney. Why does he have a supervillain car? Like, I know he's a bully, but supervillain? Here we go. Oh my god, this thing is fast. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Destroy all the free laser stands. So I went to all that trouble to show him a laser gun, and they're giving them out free, so it doesn't even matter. Honestly, I don't know if I'm just in the zone. I just crushed a child and not down another one um yeah i think i'm just in the zone <laughs> now i was going to say that i don't know if i'm in the zone but it seems to be going well but of course then everything stopped going well immediately the aliens have taken over the duff brewery and they're using it to store laser guns oh, God, i never in my life ever had to do so much explaining what this is Duff's... Wait, why are you shaking your fist at me? <laughs> Remember when I told you I sold my old car so you could go to college? Yeah? It was a lie. <laughs> Yay, tough luck, Swarthmore. I mean, I think he'd settle for just basic hygiene at this point. I don't think he cares about college. Oh, it's a race. I was trying to follow him. Where am I racing to? The Duff Factory. Okay, it's all about the Duff Factory this time. Oh, I'm driving on top of my opponent. Maybe that's good in the long run. Might slow him down a little bit just from sheer confusion. I know it did to me. Ah. Uh, um, I've gotten a little bit stuck. Okay, mission complete. Thank goodness the cops were after me. It, they're really responsive when it comes to me doing crimes. And here are the aliens. Even now, our all-purpose evil cola is spreading underground through your water supply. It will wake the dead. Zombies will rise from the grave. Yeah, it takes quite the turn, doesn't it? <laughs> rise to levels unseen since the heyday of evening shade. <laughs> Oh man, that sounds cool. I mean, oh no, I hope their plan fails. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Zombies eating brains? <laughs> oh, this is gonna rock. All I remember about these levels is the damn nuclear power plant run, which they make you do like three times and gets progressively harder and I couldn't do as a child. I see Marge is just chilling on the couch while all this goes haywire. Now, now they're eating my brain. Oh, the pain. Ah. Lisa is unbothered by this, and she's looking in the direction of the television. Collect supplies to help fend off the zombies. Okay. Oh, he just runs around and runs straight into a wall. Oh, Ned is worried about pagans, not the zombies. That doesn't bother him. Daddy, if the zombies are dead, why aren't they in heaven? I hope my brain feeds a poor hungry zombie. You got a weird family, Ned. <laughs> Oh, thank God, that's smashable. How the hell am I supposed to get to the next place? Wait, is it here? I might just about make it. Just about. Why is everything so urgent? Oh, the apocalypse, yeah. Okay, no, that, that's actually fair this time. I need your chainsaw to chop up attacking zombies. But then how will I defend myself? Mo, mo, mo. Shouldn't the weapons go to save people who have loved ones? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Front-facing Mo is kind of terrifying though. I'm, I'm kind of okay with him being sacrificed. It's nice that all these undead still obey the rules of the road. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not smashable. I got very lucky last time. Whew, okay. Just about made it. <laughs> Destroyed many lives, but I made it. All right, so comic book guy is hanging out at the school <laughs> with the aliens, so let's ask him. So, I can't remember what happens. What happens if I get in with you? Oh, I just sit on the back and you drive me around. The dead aren't so bad after all. Okay, as usual, I wasn't paying attention, but I think he said I need a zombie car. And what do you know? I just happen to have one. And I have to follow this car who is going about 90 miles per hour in a school zone. Again, we have so much in common. I'm sure we could put our differences aside. What? It's a zombie. Can I not knock down a zombie? Oh, get out of the way, please. Oh, no. That's only going to work like one quarter of the times, isn't it? That car looks like Shrek. <laughs> That cheered me up a little bit. All right, let's try this again. I'm taking the lead this time. But there's one good thing about repeating missions. I can be busy out here disobeying physics and not worried about losing him. 
Was that a zombie or just like Hans Mole Man? Okay, we got to the power plant. I <laughs> like even Homer is like, I'm bored of this level. I'm not bored of this level, but I know I'm going to be angry with what's to come. When can I get an outfit? I want an outfit, Professor Frank. Trust me. Protect Professor Frank from the aliens. Deliver the nuclear waste to the spaceship. I like how they do it in like colorful, childlike graphics so that I can understand. Oh, and I have to drive this stupid hover car of his, which is very, very weak. And this nuclear stuff at the back can just explode. If I remember correctly. You know, I think we should have just taken a normal car. Or a taxi, perhaps. Okay, nice and easy. Yep, that was a bit of a risk, but we did it. Oh god, I'm amazed it didn't explode there. Maybe it's more forgiving than I thought. Maybe I should be going faster. Okay, no, I, I think I made it, but I think it gets harder every time. There we go. All right, best of luck, Frinky. <laughs> you tried to kill my son, so I don't really care. Bye. <laughs> He's even celebrating. <laughs> I'm soaring like a candy wrapper in an updraft. He really doesn't care about any of this, does he? He's just having the time of his life. Oh. Oh my god. I don't remember that. Jesus Christ. Can I get another one of those? Oh. This time it's just Ralph sticking things up his nose. Okay, it's also terrifying. Yeah, that's that's cool. Can I buy an outfit now? Homer dirty. <laughs> Homer donut, that's a good one. Homer evil, that's another good one. I went with Homer dirty. <laughs> I just feel like no one would pick this one and I felt bad for it. His buried nuclear waste has poisoned Springfield for years to come. Good old Mr. Burns. He'll save us. Yeah, we're turning to everyone who just would not help us. Barney the clown, Mr. Burns, me. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. He said to his own car. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Just kind of taking every shortcut I see. Oh, now the zombie police are after me again. I'm just in constant dead legal trouble. I'll figure out the line eventually. I am evil Homer. I am evil Homer. He says as he knocks down innocent pedestrians. And you're not actually evil Homer. You're just dirty Homer. Oh my god, I barely even made it back. Climb the wreckage to Mr. Burns' office. We got all the bodies. These all the employees that showed up late? Seems like a reasonable task for a middle-aged, out-of-shape man. At least they get some free coins. It's nice. I mean, it's all just funding the police force. They keep taking them off me. Oh my god, please turn the camera. I don't know how and I can't see. Oh no. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this! No, 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 no! Oh, the same jump! God damn it! I wonder combined how much of my life has been wasted on this one challenge, because I've played this game a few times. Just fun facts to ponder as I do it again. Sometimes he just forgets to double jump. It just doesn't work. No, no, no. Okay, I think we're all right. Phew. Oh, are we up? I'm still scared. My heart rate is still high. Okay, we made it up. Look at him just hiding behind the little chair. No, you bastard. Please let there be a way up. Oh, wait, no, that's okay. That's, that's fine. I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. But the camera doesn't want to turn. God damn it. Okay, I can't figure this out. Can I just go to mission select and select the next mission? Will I be there? Yes. <laughs> now I don't have to figure out the puzzle at all. No, I I still oh god damn it. I'm not smart. It's like a plague fall, guys, or something. Oh, what the God, I stood on that one. Okay, I think I made it by sheer luck. I sort of figured out a pattern. In that case, here's the map to where I buried nuclear waste barrels all over Springfield. Oh, that's convenient. All right, hope I land this. Where the hell am I? <laughs> right, it, it, okay, here we go. There we go, all in the knees. At least I can drive my own car, but I think in the next two it doesn't let me drive my own. Okay, the previous lines are still there. No, 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 okay. That's all right. <laughs> it just killed a zombie and technically he was already dead, so I can't be charged for that one. Never mind the countless other ones, though. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> no, no. <sighs> Come on. Ow! I hate this. <laughs> All right, restart. We can do this. I'm sure I'm a much better gamer than I was when I was like 10. Okay, well, it took me 10 seconds just to manage to pick up the waste, but I still believe in this run. Oh my god, I lost it again. This is not going to be as easy as I thought it would be. Like, I knew they'd be hard, but I was like, come on, I've played so many games. I'm ready for this. Oh my god, please get out of the way. They are all lunatics. 
No, it's bubbling. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, I went a reasonable speed the entire way and just tried to be careful. It took a lot of restraint, but I got it done. I'm doing this elaborate dance now. <laughs> Talk to Snake. Why is it always the weirdest of characters and he's just hanging out here? That child is about to get sucked up by the beam. Let's not say anything. Oh no, this is even worse. This time it requires me to drive there and back. Oh, I remember being so pissed off by this when I was a child. In fact, I think that's where everything went kind of wrong. My life is pretty good up until that point. Oh, sorry, Carol. It's always Carol. Oh my god, just find me and get on with your life. There's no bringing Carol back. I just went straight through that window and nothing happened. I think I'm a ghost. I'm also the undead. Okay, we got it. And now back to the school. At least this was a car I practiced with, so it, it's something, you know? I know how to control it, at least. It's a bit slidey. Oh, chicks love it when I do this. <laughs> Murder civilians. I need to heal my car just so I can feckin' see. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up and go around. Take that, Springfield. I don't think they're worried about that right now, Snake. Whatever it is you did, like knocked over a sign or something. Oh my god, this is like the most pressure I've been under in the past year. Alright, we made it and we sacrificed- oh. Me? <laughs> I was gonna say snake, but I'm also up there. All right, mission complete. Who cares? Oh, and lastly, I'm gonna sacrifice my own father. I gotta save Springfield. Now you're not gonna sacrifice me for the greater good, are you, son? No, 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 no. <laughs> Just because he's seen me do it to two other people. Never do that to my own father. Now, Homer's father, on the other hand. Oh my god, this has some, like, jet engine. I thought it would just be a slow one that I just need to drive perfectly or something. Oh, now I need to race the alien to the power plant. I just never saw the story go going this way, you know? Oh no. Yeah, just make noises. <laughs> Hope they just can't be bothered with us. Oh my god, that's the guy I'm racing. He was about to do a Fast and the Furious on me. Oh, thank God I don't have to go through the gate. Wait, I have a minute to get back. A feckin' minute. That's impossible. Wait, what? No, don't reset me. Okay, I need to basically drive like an absolute lunatic, which pretty much how I normally drive, but I mean, like, even more so. I'm pretty sure this is the one I could never pass as a child, by the way. Like, if there's people in the comments who also remember just not being able to finish this, can you let me know? Because I don't know, is it just me if I had to give up, or was this genuinely as hard as it feels it is? Oh my god! I hit a little fence. God damn it. So now I gotta go back again, driving when I can't even see. I'm assuming the clock is gonna reset, right? And I, I can try again, and I'm not just going to have this as my entire time to pick up the waste and drive it back to the school? Okay, good. I just about made it back. I just figured why bother with the race if I can avoid it. Please don't tell anybody I did this! What? Save the world, Grandpa? Everyone will know. Sake. I knew that was gonna be the death of me. I think the car just blew up. Don't worry, it's still fine. Oh, well, I guess that means I'm doing the race again. I'll see you in a minute and a half with good news. Okay, good news, everyone. I made it, and it's been going really well. I think Grandpa ate the rest of the remaining trucker pills we got him earlier, because he's on fire. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Kidding me? God damn it! I couldn't even see, and I wanted the spanner. <laughs> At least someone's having fun. Oh, never mind. My car exploded. I feel bad about myself. So. Oh! Yeah, me too. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm gonna repair, and then I'm gonna go in and smash the barrel and get a nice good start. So I'll just ram the wall, and here we go! <laughs> it's gotta buy me like three seconds, right? Get out of my way! Every minute might be my last! It doesn't help that Grandpa's like having a panic attack during this entire mission. Okay, alright, this is going pretty good. <gasps> oh my god, if it exploded there, I would've been so upset. I can't get the cops after me. I can't get the cops after me. Why do I keep hitting things when I can't get the cops after me? No, 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 too much air, too much air. All right, all right, Grandpa, it's your turn to ascend. Good luck up there. Yes, Grandpa is dead. I smell Those were his final words. That's what I'd want to say as well. And there we have it. Their plan worked. <laughs> Dad, your fans want you outside. Ben? Oh, those fans. 
What an absolutely bizarre storyline this game had. I just never really think about it. And now I think I know why. I wanted to quickly shout out my new channel where I'm going to be posting a bit of music, a few covers and whatnot. You can subscribe to that in the description or click here to check out the first song on the channel. And that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out more of my content, check it out here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. That at least means you don't despise me. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.